Hi there. I was recently watching one of Stefan's wonderful sermons on the Ecclesiastica Gnostica channel. And uh, he was mentioning that uh, well, coming up to the All Saints Day celebration of the saints. And he defined saint and and he looked at it, uh, he, he was blessing the saints that were the martyrs of early Christianity, as well as some of the saints of orthodoxy, saints of orthodox Christianity. And uh, he was saying that, you know, that we, we need all the help we can get. And uh, this is my little schema of perhaps the types of help that we might expect. Um, this is the, 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 the world to the demiurge, the realms of the demiurge, which uh, are many. Um, this sort of track kind of thing um, is actually infinitely long. So it's infinite that way and infinite that way. This is the supernal worlds, the realm of the, of the good God, the transcendental God of Gnosticism. And again, uh, this goes infinitely that way <laughs> and infinitely this way. Um, and uh, they're kind of like tracks along which a train might might go, uh, a train that's been going in for an infinite amount of time and will never stop, in fact. Um, this is our soul, this is the spirit spark soul of, of every human, every sentient being, uh, that's imprisoned in the uh, realms of the Demiurge. And those realms cover, of course, the material realm right up to quite high etheric realms uh, and this is of course the track of uh, of space and time track of duality whereas this is a track of non-duality which is outside the time track um, and uh, then we have so these are parallel lines uh, parallel tracks that will never meet ever and um, and they are straight they're not uh, they're not going to coincide in any place, although perhaps they do coincide at different places. And that brings me on to the idea of the Holy Spirit. Well, this circle represents the Holy Spirit, uh, but again, this is infinitely large as well. Um, and these, these uh, ellipses represent uh, the types of help uh, that, uh, that bridge the gap between the supernal worlds and the worlds of the Demiurge. Um, and these also infinite long, infin infinitely, uh, go that way infinitely and that way infinitely, as, I, as I've shown. Um, but the Holy Spirit uh, encompasses, sort of straddles, if you like, uh, the, uh, the two, the supernal world and the, and the world of the Demiurge. Um, and then we have various classes or categories of help. Um, we have here, well, this is the vision of the Holy Grail. Uh, this is, uh, arises out of, us, out of uh, introspection, a special kind of uh, spontaneous introspection whereby um, we receive the vision of the Holy Grail, uh, which is a very powerful, very special symbol uh, and uh, connects us like a bridge uh, between the supernal worlds and the world of the Demiurge. Uh, but I mean that is kind of is a is a, is a particular uh, way of looking at Gnosticism, uh, if you like. Uh, and, and the Holy Grail, of course, as I said before, bridges the gap between uh, classical Gnosticism and Orthodox Christianity, medieval Christianity, which is the significance of the Holy Grail uh, to me, anyway. Um, and then we have saints and revealers, revealers are people like prophets, people that reveal the truth to you. Um, but they could be, uh, you know, a, uh, you could be, um, you could be entertaining angels unawares. Uh, so the revealers, a revealer could be anyone, on a, a person that you meet on a bus stop, you know, or a homeless person that says something very significant to you. Um, but they're also saints as well, either martyrs, uh, or, or saints, so people that have, that have led, led um, a particularly saintly life and, and a, a spiritual life, uh, which they've maintained throughout their lives, um, or grown into, uh, to you know, to 
become very special people. Um, and then, of course, the, the Christ himself at the centre here, uh, the Christ victorious, the Christ tri triumphant, uh, the redeeming salva salvation Christ. Um, and that, of course, the, the, the energy of Christ, um, both in his 30-year ministry and in his, uh, in his spiritual image, if you like, that, that walked among us. Um, and then, of course, the angels, which I've got down here as angles for some reason, angels and archangels, uh, and these, these are messengers and helpers uh, and people that are way, way finders, I suppose, as well, and they point the way. Um, so you have all these different classes and cat categories of helper, um, as well as, of course, as the action of the Holy Spirit. And, and these, all these classes, they are all contained within the Holy Spirit. So I suppose they're, they're aspects of the Holy Spirit. Um, well, I mean, Christ is, is, a, is a particular, not ex aspect of the Holy Spirit, but, but is the Holy Spirit, uh, as he is the same homusios of the same stuff as, as God the Father. Um, so I, I haven't really drawn this, this correctly. Um, I, well, I suppose Christ, I've drawn Christ as he appeared to, to his disciples on earth, uh, which is why he's contained within the Holy Spirit. But in actual fact, uh, Christ and the Holy Spirit, of course, are one. They're the same stuff, uh, spiritual stuff, as it were. Uh, so Christ is here, the Holy Spirit as well, as being on earth for that particular time, moment in history. Um, so, so all these these classes of helpers are contained, and this is the act. The Holy Spirit is active, basically, um, and the Holy Spirit has been unwinding, if you like, uncoiling itself through through uh, throughout time, actually, ever since uh, man appeared on the planet, ever since uh, the souls began to be imprisoned uh, by the demiurge, whenever that was, and however that was. That's not sort of quite material here, but uh, the point is that the, the Holy Spirit has been has been growing uh, as the number of souls grows, of course, uh, within the within the within the realms of the demiurge. Um, so we we are we this is soul in the midst of the realms of demiurge, but you know we are we are also impacted uh, by the action of these categories of helpers. Uh, that basically provide um, wisdom, um, they show us the way forward, um, they show us the way home, if you like, so that we can leap from, from there uh, up to the supernal worlds. Uh, they teach us uh, methods of meditation uh, that are relevant to our being able to jump back into the realm, into the realm of the good God, uh, even in this life. Uh, and in the next as well, um, so that, um, and I haven't really included reincarnation in this particular model, uh, that's a kind of a separate thing really. Um, so, I mean, I hope that on, on, you know, as we come up to the day of All Hallows Day or All Saints Day, that I've shown that, um, you know, that we are not alone. Uh, the, the soul, you know, has got a lot of help, um, and a lot of energy is given to the soul. And, and as they say, you know, the soul goes up that far um, and the Holy Spirit comes down that far uh, to meet you uh, more than halfway, uh, to give you the inspiration and the grace and the power uh, to continue your ascent uh, to the supernal worlds.